so what I want to do now is I want to buy the defensive equipment. Because that's a lot more important than, you know, really. It's a lot more important than buying the um, weapons here for now. I'll get those later just for the sake of having them, but yeah. Yeah, it gets upgraded by a whopping 25 attack power on the first one, so it's already on par with hand cannon. I know I don't have enough money to upgrade it again. 3,000 Gela, okay. Mm. You know, actually, I'm going to grind a little bit and get some money to upgrade that again. Here's some new enemies. I think these things actually give a sizable amount of EXP. I know there's another there's another variation of them later which does give quite a bit of EXP. I remember I used to use them for grinding, like way back on my first playthrough. I'm not sure how much Gela they give though. Flash decreases your ability to parry. Okay, so yeah, they gave quite a bit of EXP. This would actually be a pretty good grinding spot if you needed to. You know, for EXP and stuff, obviously. Not so much for Gela, really. I would say the ocean's probably better for Gela at this point. Okay, one more battle should do it. Ah, Venom Bears. This might actually not give us enough. It's one of the reasons I say the ocean's probably better, because Venom Bears barely give you anything. So if you run into them, it's really just a waste of time. enough for the inn and upgrading that hopefully oh yeah we do good I guess we're gonna be left with 35 Gela no I don't guess I know but it's okay Hey, now we have 80 attack power for that thing. I'm not really going to bother upgrading the accuracy on it right now because, you know, got lock on and all that. You know, now that I think about it, these things remind me a little bit of the plant brain boss from uh, Final Fantasy IX. I thought they kind of reminded me of something. It just kind of dawned on me. Okay, so... Let's, um... Hmm. Uh, let's go down to Port Timney. 
I think Port Timney had a church. I want to go there to like heal the status effects and stuff. Eh, go away. Here we go. I don't think Rosetta had a church. Okay, so now the tri-pillar is just right over here, so let's get on over to this thing. Now the tri-pillar is, I, th I, I think, I'm like 90% sure the tri-pillar is another one-time only dungeon, so if you miss something here, it's gone forever. And yeah, now you know why it's called the Tri-Pillar. Because <laughs> there's three paths up through it, and... Yeah, each character has to go up their own path. Now, um... Is there anything in here? No. Now, each, um... I don't remember which way you have to go. But it'll become apparent pretty soon. Because as you can probably guess, um, each route will have like something that um, a you need like a specific character to get past. But not until you go a couple floors up. That's what's annoying about it. There is a part a little ways up though where you can actually um, swap between like like you can swap uh, routes with the characters. <laughs> The Tri-Pillars, it's actually a much shorter dungeon than the Volcanon Trap, and I would say overall it's also quite a bit easier, but, um... The boss of this place, in my opinion, is tougher than the boss of, uh... Any of the bosses in the Volcanon Trap. Because it has one attack, which is just a pain. Also, I think maybe this is the route Cecilia was supposed to take. But... Eh, just gonna run. Probably not gonna get away. No, I got away. There's not really anything... Like, there's nothing that I need bombs or a grappling hook for. I would say the only uh, path that might be a little dangerous is Cecilia's, or rather, like, when you're taking Cecilia up through the path, it's a little dangerous because of her low physical defense. But it shouldn't be anything we can't handle. Hey, I'm already poisoned. Boy, those things give a lot of EXP. That's only because Rudy's alone, though. I'm not gonna go on that way, actually. I'm just gonna take him here. This is the switch point right here. Okay, Jack, I'm gonna take you up the left one. Um, Jack has a fast draw in here that he can get. Which I believe is it's the only missable that's, like, really important. Unless there's a crest graph. There might be crest graphs, too. Oh, no, no, okay, okay, this is Jack's path. 
Because that statue right there is what teaches him his fast draw. Okay, now let's do it. Yeah, you have to earn your fast draw, of course. Which, as you can plainly tell, shouldn't be a big issue at all. I thought you wanted to give me a challenge. Okay, whatever. Throw more of them at me. Ha! Got any more things for me to waste my MB on? Well, these little things are really fast. <laughs> Yay, we got another fast draw. Not that way. There's a gremlin. That's a new enemy in here. Let's try and learn our new fast draw. Oh, hey! First try! Divide shot. Ah, yeah, divide shot. That, um... That cuts an enemy's maximum HP in half, I believe. Or it cuts them by half of their current HP. That's not a fast draw that I ever really use. It's time to bring Cecilia up. 
Hopefully I'm not going to have to take Rudy back down the other path. And have her go up that one. That would suck. Make sure you're at full HP. Actually... I'm gonna put the Summit Rune on you, just so you have more vitality. It'll... help her survive the enemies in here. Let's use a summit rune. Haven't shown this little guy off yet. I think I've shown off all my current summons, haven't I? No, I haven't. Eh, there's some I haven't shown. Which ones haven't I shown? I don't think I've shown the wind or the thunder rune. Eh. They'll be seen eventually. Heck, I might as well show him now. You know, just spice it up a little bit. Just in case anyone's curious what some of the summons look like. I don't think I've... Yeah. Oh, I also haven't summoned the fire one, I don't think. Yeah, that one's a white tiger. Let's go ahead and put the thunder rune on now. Wrong way again! Wait, now that I think about it, I did show Moa Galt off, didn't I? I don't know. I didn't expect Cecilia's trip up the Tri-Pillar to, like, turn into a summon expedition, but... I guess better now than later. Oh, except she's gonna kill the Gremlin. Well, we'll just have to wait till next battle. Here we go. Yeah, we got a Thunder Lion.
You know, hold on a sec. Wait, who was it that had... Yeah, you have the fire rune. Okay. I don't remember if I showed this one off yet or not. I think I might have, but I don't think I did, though. For now, though, um... Wait, how exactly do we switch... I don't remember how this works. I really do not remember how this works. Um... Shoot. I feel really dumb right now. Wait, do all wait. Can I no? Maybe I have to make them all stand on this? Oh, the, oh, that's how it works. Okay. Then, um... Right, okay. I need to use Jack to swap them around there. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and take Cecilia to the top.